All right, next up is the Z-axis. We're gonna need this 3D printed part, the lead screw and motor, uh, the, the nut holder, and then eventually you'll need the wires as well. The first step is just to assemble the spring and the uh, anti-backlash nut and the nut holder. So they kind of go like that and line up. And we're just gonna insert into this part and put in an M3, uh, some M3 screws to hold it. Okay, I went ahead and, and mounted mine like this. Uh, so I have a couple M312s that I'm using. Mine have threads in them. Um, if yours doesn't, you can just use longer screws and then put lock nuts on the end here so they stay in place. Here's the spring. And you're just going to fit that piece over it. Oops, actually that's the wrong piece. That's a spare part that I had. So then you'll just fit this piece over it like this. And it should um, be able to close and lock into place. Well, not really lock, but you should be able to put it into place. Okay, now we're going to attach this piece that we just did with the um, nut holder. And then we're going to use some M312s to secure it. There should be some preloaded nuts back here. And you wanna um, get this fairly centered. So the way that I do it is I stick my driver through just to make sure that I get the preloaded nuts lined up where I need them. And then you can always adjust them or slide it after the fact, just don't make it super tight. Let's see, there we go. So I'll just kind of move it over. These T-nuts are definitely nice. <clears throat> make it a little bit easier to get things in place. Okay, and I'm just tightening that one up. Um, it's probably a little bit off center, so I'm gonna adjust it by loosening these. And I'll tighten that up, both sides, and good to go. Okay, before you go on to the next step, um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some th synthetic Super Lube grease. This is the same brand as the Super Lube uh, synthetic oil that I use to keep the um, <clears throat> the rails lubed up. I'm not going to apply, oops, didn't want to apply that much, but anyway, you want a, a decent coating. You don't want to get too much like I just splattered there, so some of that's going to come off. And you just want to wipe it basically up and down. Well, get it cleaned up so no excess. All right, next we're going to need two M38 and one M36. And then we're going to screw it in like this. I've got the wire connector coming out at the back like that. Okay, and that is the finished piece. At this point, I've now got the printer flipped upside down and going to need to do some preloading of nuts. The preloading is going to basically go on all of the outside extrusions that are, have easy access right now. All right, at this point in the build, you're going to need to get your parts out for your feet. You can see here, uh, I've got the rubber feet the 3D printed parts and the M340 screws. And I do have the feet position now. Um, one thing that I want to point out is this one and this one, for some reason, the holes were pretty tight. So I had to use my file and ream it out a little bit. Um, these other two were just fine though. So I don't know what's going on. That, maybe that's fixed by now um, when you download the part. But anyway, you may run into some challenges like that. Make sure you pay attention to the orientation of the feet. I'm gonna tighten that other one a little bit. Final step on the Z axis is going to be inserting the lead screw. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. And um, as you insert it, you want to make sure you hold the nut and the spring um, and sandwich them together like they're supposed to be. Okay, I found it helped to push the bed all the way to the to the bottom or the top in this orientation, and that allowed me to um, basically pull it through. So you're going to have to pull it through enough where you have access to be able to uh, put these screws through the, um, the nuts. Okay, one thing that's not clear to me is how many nuts need to be on either side of this motor. Um, I'm hoping, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with three on the left and two on the right. <clears throat> Worst case, if that's wrong, I'll have to come back and, you know, just kind of move things around a little bit. The other thing I'll say about this step is try to get it centered 
um, in between these two extrusions as much as possible. And to finish this off, you just need to use two M3 by eights. And again, just try to get it as centered as possible. All right, I've got it flipped back over and now I'm just testing to make sure everything's moving and it seems to be moving just fine. So um, hopefully no Z wobble, but that's kind of hard to tell um, unless until you go to print. So, but it, it looks good. It's not getting bound up anywhere. So I think we're in good shape.